Hello everyone and welcome to this new tarot reading for you. Now this is about how does your crush feel about you. This is assuming that it's somebody you're not actually in a relationship with but you would like to be and you've got a bit of a crush on them and you're wondering how that might go. So we've actually got six piles to choose from today. The reason being that in numerology six is the number of the heart, the sacred chalice. Um, and six is also the lovers in tarot, so I thought it'd be a bit fun. Um, and my guide said, let's do six cards. So we've got six piles to choose from here. First of all, we have pile one over here. And the crystal for pile one is angelite, this lovely pale blue, absolutely gorgeous. Very strong connection with angels for that one. Pile two is this one. We have this lovely piece of red jasper here. It's rather nice. Okay. And then pile three. The crystal we have here is celestite. Now it is an angelic crystal, not to be confused with selenite. It's uh, actually blue in colour, this one. Quite a raw piece. Okay, and then pile four down here, we have a piece of purpurite, which is actually a little bit iridescent. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but it shimmers and it's very soft feeling stone. Then pile five down here we do have some selenite <laughs> okay so not to be confused with celestite we do actually have some selenite the lovely moon crystal down here as well oops <laughs> and then pile six we have this beautiful piece of turquoise as the name suggests it's a gorgeous turquoise really nice piece so take a moment and just think about your crush um and see which pile of cards you are drawn to. If you want one, two, three, four, five, or six. And then you can click on the timestamp below and take a look at your reading. So hello pile one. These are the cards with the blue angelite crystal. We're just going to pop her over to one side. And we're going to take a look at your cards now to see if there's any romantic potential with your crush, how your crush feels about you at this moment in time. So let's take a look. Do remember this is a group reading, so take what resonates and what makes sense for you and leave what doesn't. So let's take a look. So we have the shadows, dragon. Okay. Right. Wedding. Getting to know each other. All right. Okay, we're going to start here for now. Right. Okay, pile one. Wow. This, <laughs> this is a bit of a crush here. <laughs> it really is a bit of a crush. It feels very much like you're kind of watching this person from a distance with the shadows card coming up with the dragons here and the dragon oracle. Um, I feel like this person may not really have any clue that you have a crush on them at the moment. It may be, they may be completely in the dark or you may have been really hiding your motivations as to how you feel about them and what you would actually like. Because there's a very shadowy feeling here, there's a very hidden energy um, here. And it can be that you, you're somebody that plays your cards very close to their, your chest, or maybe they are the person that plays their cards very close to their chest, but somebody is very, very secretive in this situation. I think it's you, but it could, obviously this is a group reading, so it could be the other person, but I think for most it's going to be you. And I want to say, there's no need to be dishonest about how you feel. You know, there's no need to hide too much here because you may be hiding a little bit too much um, and then thinking about this person sort of imagining the wedding already, kind of going there already in your mind when they have no idea what your intentions are. So I do want to rein you in a little bit here, Pile One. I want to say, OK, stop going too far um, into this without actually letting the other person know. It feels like you're planning the wedding and the other person doesn't even know they're in a relationship. You know, it's, <laughs> it feels like that kind of energy. So um, it does feel like you have quite a strong feeling towards this person. So this crush could be quite a serious one. It could be one that you would like to, to take to, you know, to a very serious level. Maybe there's somebody 
you would like to have a long-term relationship with. It does feel like that's that's what you're asking about here. Uh, for many of you, you, you really would like this to, to work and to work out if there's any possibility here. Um, but the advice is coming in very strongly. Get to know each other better. OK, you don't know this person well enough, I feel, at this point in time to be able to really go there. And you might be spiralling off a little bit in your mind at the moment. You may be, you know, we obsess about people, don't we? Or we imagine things, we imagine what they're actually like. Or it may be somebody that you know online um, or, you know, perhaps a, a public figure that you admire or something. But the truth is, if you don't know that much about them, you don't know how suitable this person is for you. So I want to bring in a little bit of caution here for you, Pile One, just to protect you, to keep you safe. Um, it feels like this person... Either you don't directly know them or they are not aware at all of how you feel. Um, and that in itself is a little bit of a red flag um, just to start off. So I'm just going to say rein yourself in a little bit. Plonk your feet flat on the floor here and let's try to stay a little bit realistic about this situation here. You've got a lot more to learn about each other before you can even consider moving forwards here. Get to know this person, you know, develop a friendship, develop a bond, see where it goes. OK, um, just going to bring some of the next cards in here. So we have number six, giving and receiving. Number seven, seek the truth. And number one, vitality. So, yeah, we're just getting this confirmation coming in on number seven here. Seek the truth. Get to know this person. Who are they really? Who are you really as well? That feels very important right now. Um, are you giving mixed messages? Are you making this person think that you just want to be friends? Are you making this person think that you're just looking for a fling when you want something serious or vice versa? Be very careful that you're not just trying to be cool in this situation or letting people think they can take advantage of you because I feel like that could happen here. Um, it feels to me, pile one, like... Yeah, giving and receiving. It, it may be that giving and receiving hasn't been very balanced in your love life coming in on a six there. Um, and I want to say you need somebody who is prepared to give to you, who is prepared to do all the wonderful things that you deserve, to do their share, do their part in a relationship. That's what you need. And you're still not clear on who this person even is. So I really want to advise some caution here. Um, it does feel very much like the energy between you is quite exciting, um, bringing in this new vitality on, on number one here. So it's an interesting potential. I think I feel like this person really intrigues you, like you look at them and think, wow, yeah, that's that's the whole package. I'd really like to know more about this person. You know, they're they're clever, they're intelligent, they're kind, they're empathic. They've had all these experiences, life experiences or whatever it is. Um, they really intrigue you and I think they do fire you up. Um, and that is nice. I mean, that is a nice basis for a relationship. Absolutely. If they are interested. Um, and it could be that this is playing on your mind quite a lot at the moment, but you're sort of going You've, you've gone dark on it, you know, you're staying very quiet, radio silence, and you may be going around and around and around and around in your mind right now. And that's really not helpful, not helpful at all. So we'll just bring in the spiritual aspect here. 27, joy. Yeah, it does feel very much like joy has been missing from your life or maybe from your love life for some time here. And that's what wants to come back in on 27.9. It is joy that you're seeking. It is this new, fresh energy. Maybe this person represents a, new, a fresh start to you. Maybe they are completely different to the people that you've been with in the past. Maybe... Um, it would be an opportunity for you to travel, for you to have money, you know, for, for you to be with somebody who is everything that you wanted, but also um, can lift you up to the next level in your life. Maybe they represent an escape for you. Maybe they represent a levelling up of some kind. Um, and that's great, but you should be looking to get that from yourself, I just want to say. I just want to add a little bit of caution here. There's, I feel there's a lot in this energy here um, that you could actually get from yourself, that you could achieve for yourself. So you don't necessarily need it from the other person. So let's just take a look to see how they actually feel about you. So we're just going to have a look at the, the little romance oracle cards here. Just see what the energy... Oh, they want to come out. Okay, the energy is between you. Sweets, chocolates and roses. <laughs> Flash in the pan. Okay. That's not the best. Not the best energy. Um, okay. So it could be very sweet in 
but it feels like this person that you're interested in isn't all they appear to be. OK, and this is what I was saying about cautioning you um, about who they truly are, who they really are beneath the surface. Um, and also cautioning you about being very clear about what your intentions are. If you want something long term, you have to be very clear about that or this could literally become a flash in the pan. It feels like there could be a, re a, a potential here for a relationship. But your well-being has to come first. Your mental health perhaps needs to come first. You need to be very clear about what the truth is of what you want and what they want as well. Because it feels like there's a little bit of a mismatch here um, with your expectations, with what you want at the moment. Um, it's not quite the right energy. Um, it could be a fling, I think. Um, not into it. That is not what you want to see. OK, feed your relationship. 60. OK. Um, with things are as they are at the moment, can't speak, <laughs> with things how they are at the moment, it feels like it's not quite right. It feels like mm, it's not quite the right energy. Um, I wouldn't see this as a relationship sort of proceeding as you would want it to at this time. I think it could be a fling for some of you, but it might not turn into anything more than that. So I want to be very careful here. Um, and guide you to put your well-being first, put your needs first and be very clear if you get anywhere near this person in a romantic sense. Be very clear about your boundaries and what it is that you want from them, what it is you want from the relationship. And there's nothing wrong with being clear up front about what you want. Don't be afraid of scaring somebody off because the right person won't be scared. OK, the wrong person will absolutely run for the hills, but that's OK because that's the wrong person. Um, this would be a relationship that you would have to put a lot of effort into if it was going to proceed, if it was going to move forwards. Uh, feed your relationship coming in on 66. So six plus zero is um, six, which is why I say 66. Um, in numerology, we always reduce numbers to, to single digit. Um, yeah, it's a difficult one. This could turn out to be a relationship that starts out as a fling or a one night stand or something and and you know the the, the other person thinks it's, it's not serious but you know you, you could try and sort of drag it out a little bit and and pull them into a relationship perhaps a little bit against their will I mean that is a thing that happens isn't it sometimes we start out as a fling and one person's really serious the other one isn't and you you know you can kind of nudge them into a relationship but it's not the best way to start to be honest um and there could be a little bit of codependency coming up here from one of you as well. Love Addicts Anonymous on 33.6. Um, there's a lot of heart energy here. I see you have such a big heart. I really do. Such a big heart, such a loving heart. But I really want to caution you. I don't feel this relationship's going to be quite right at this point in time. OK, and that's a big asterisk at this point in time, because at some point in the future, it could be absolutely right and perfect. All right. This could be the person that you end up marrying in the future. But right now, it doesn't feel like quite the right energy. And we should never say never when it comes to relationships, because you don't know what choices people are going to make in the future. But right now, it just doesn't feel like quite the right blend. I would say focus on yourself, focus on joy, being happy, taking care of yourself. Perhaps there's some work for you to do on your body, your physical health. Perhaps there's some work for you to do on your mental health. I mean, who doesn't have work to do on their health, mental health, including me? Am I right? Um, but I would caution you to stay away from this one because you might get involved for the wrong reasons. And I feel like you might just end up getting your heart broken. So I hope that's helpful for you, Pile One. I'm really sorry if that's not what you wanted to hear, but I do try to be honest and I will always just read the energy. If you feel drawn to a second reading from the six as well, go and have a look at that one too. You can look at two, of course, if you feel drawn to more than one. Please do give me a like, leave me a comment um, and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Hello, pile two. Let's take a look to see how your crush feels about you and what the romantic potential is there. It's exciting, isn't it? So pile two, you've chosen the lovely dark red jasper crystal here. It's a very nice piece. Let's pop that over here. And we'll take a look at your cards. Let's start out with your dragon oracle card. Gifts. Okay, interesting place to start. Right. And then we have honeymoon. And keep an open mind. Interesting. All right. Okay. Um, 
This is an interesting one, actually. And I feel for some of you, this might be somebody that you've already had a fling with. <laughs> you know, um, maybe, or, or, or an ex, someone you, you've already been involved with in some some respect in the past. Um, I feel there may be a past connection here. Not for everybody, of course. This is a group reading, remember. Um, but there's something here. There's already something between you, it feels. Um, and you may be feeling that. And it may almost be like flirting at the moment is very enjoyable for you. It may feel almost like a honeymoon period, even if you're not involved right now, even if you're not quite involved yet, even if you'd still like to be. Um, but the keep an open mind card is always interesting when it shows up. Um, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Now, um, yeah, <laughs> it might be that you're a surprise to them or that they're a bit of a surprise to you for what they thought they actually wanted longer term. Um, but there's a very interesting romantic potential here. Um, so I want to say enjoy what's happening at the moment. Enjoy what's going on at the moment, because it feels like there is a little bit of a spark between the two of you. It does. Um, so enjoy what you have at the moment. So if you already have a friendship, if you're already in contact, um, enjoy that friendship and, and work on it. Get to know each other a little bit better. Spend time together. Have fun together, you know, if you're able to do that. Um, you know, if you haven't actually contacted this person, it might be someone you admire from a distance who maybe doesn't exist in your office or somebody online or something. Um, that's OK. I mean, still try and get to know them as best you can. Maybe reach out, maybe um, maybe extend the hand of friendship, I want to say, because you never know um, when Cupid's arrow is going to strike, I want to say, because... It's it's very interesting that the two of you together feels like a, a curious blend of energies, like people wouldn't have expected you two to be together. Um, but there is a possibility. I do feel a potential here, which is, is very interesting to see. So let's bring some of the other cards in here. Um, so we've got two refusing to see. Uh, five, the throat chakra. Uh, we've got another five, feeling alone. Oh, OK. Wow. Have we got a wounded bear situation? All right. OK. Um, I think what we might actually have here is right person, not quite the right time yet. And that isn't necessarily a problem. You might just need to bide your time with this person because um, it does feel like you can form a friendship here. It does feel like there is communication here. Although my throat does feel a little bit tickly as I go to the throat chakra, which is the energy centre. So it's literally on the physical throat. It's all about communication, about the voice, about being heard, um, about expressing yourself clearly. Um, and I, it may not be time for you to actually express yourself at this point in time. Or you may have actually told them that you're interested already and they just kind of went oh don't be silly or, or you know brushed it off and and, and tried to uh, to minimize things but that doesn't mean that it's not going to happen in the future um wow feeling alone oh that is sad isn't it um we might have this is why i was saying we might have a wounded bear situation here this might be a person who feels very alone is in a lot of pain um who is going through some stuff and isn't quite ready to notice you yet, which is why we've got the refusing to see card here. Or it might actually be the other way around. You know, you might have a crush on them, but you're not ready to go into a relationship just yet. You're still struggling, um, you know, maybe with, with healing from a breakup or healing from some past situation. Um, or it might be your physical health that actually needs to, to heal and you're not quite ready to, to venture out into the world of dating again yet but it does feel like this person's come into your life for a reason it really does with the gifts card here it feels like this person is a gift in your life um no matter what this what happens moving forwards it feels like they are literally um a present for you they are here for you it does feel that way um those fives you may really be overthinking it got a couple of fives there that that could really be overthinking energy. <laughs> um, or it may be them that's actually overthinking it at the moment and that will slow everything down. But again, it could be just because you seem so different. Like maybe you come from very different backgrounds. Um, maybe you come from different religions or different countries or, you know, very different cultures or something. And, and that in itself can um, can slow things down a little bit, can appear to be an obstacle, even if it isn't on the longer term. We'll just have a look at the spiritual connection here soul love 33 oh wow that's a beautiful one to have wow very nice soul connection there that's a lovely soul connection to see it does show me 
as well that um, you're both incarnated at this time on earth to help to raise the vibration of earth so you are both here on a spiritual path feels like you're on the same spiritual path you have the same mission while you are here so this is somebody that you could actually be very spiritually compatible with even if you're from different religions even if you're from different cultures you know you, you could be very spiritually compatible with this person um very psychically compatible um which is a very interesting place to start and it comes in our 33 6 which is the christ consciousness um hmm, it comes in with a lot of potential 33 you know that of of being able to write the blueprint and it feels like if you were determined to make this happen it's going to happen <laughs> you know if, if you took the steps um obviously with the other person reciprocating that this can really go far that this could happen absolutely let's take a look at the romance oracle here to see how the other person's feeling in all of this um quite an interesting mix here it's definitely not a no so let's see oops okay cat person dog person you are different people <laughs> cat person dog person 235 um this one shows up when you have people who are really different from each other <laughs> so just what i was saying yeah you you're quite different but it can be quite harmonious it really can be very very um harmonious between you um you you have the potential to get on really well despite that sweets chocolates and roses okay there's quite a lot of romance there as well as the potential for romance um oh oh okay and this may actually be end up being a long distance relationship so it might be somebody that you you can't be close to physically at the moment or who can't be close to you so it may be that you start a long distance communication maybe somebody that you meet online and, and talk to you online for a bit before you can meet them it might be somebody who um can't leave where they are for whatever reason um Hmm. there's definitely for some of you there's an impediment in the way it might be that they're already in a relationship that they need to leave it might be that they're i mean occasionally you, ha you have people who are incarcerated that, that you want to be with you know that's not ideal situation that's very difficult um 56 11 but it comes in with a lot of wisdom there it comes in with the heart and mind working together and it does feel like this is a potential relationship that could really could work heart and mind working together so how is this person feeling please let's see one stars align nice venus aphrodite oh there's a wow there's an attraction here <laughs> there's definitely an attraction um venus aphrodite 11 too um yeah there, there's there's certainly a, a, a seductive element to this energy between the two of you i i feel there they could be a, a very real attraction there on both sides um stars aligned so it may be that the universe is actually going to help you a little bit with this one particularly if it is somebody a little bit further away that that um or somebody that you think is out of your league it may be that the universe actually conspires to to help with this one um because the stars are aligning they're trying to help you here um and what i always say in any kind of romantic reading or when you're doing your manifesting work when you're trying to manifest a relationship you know you ask the universe i would like to be in a relationship with this person but always add a caveat this person or somebody better okay because the universe is going to try and bring you what you want but we cannot violate free will and if somebody else doesn't want to be with you <laughs> you can't force that all right we can't do that um you must never do any kind of work to try and subvert somebody's free will whether it's magic or you know trying to work with the law of attraction trying to like bend somebody's will never ever ever do that very bad idea it can only backfire or go badly um but the stars align so it feels to me like the universe is really on your side here it feels to me like the universe is trying to help you on 62 8 um so i want to say um if you're you know if you're saying prayers asking your angels to help ask for this person or somebody similar because it feels like it's going to be either this person or someone very similar who's going to come into your life very soon um i never say exactly 100 percent. yes it's definitely this person because we don't know that we never know that for sure plus this is a group reading okay so you can't all have it your way <laughs> but it's either this person or someone with a very similar energy a very similar type of person who's about to come into your life right now and i'm really quite excited for you i'm going to go to the message oracle deck now just quickly um let's see what they want to add there ah oh, some people will intentionally misunderstand you okay beware of people around you beware of the naysayers in this situation i do want to say that um 
this is important because it does feel like there is a, a strong potential here, but there might be tr other people trying to tell you, oh no, you don't want to do that. You don't want to be with that person because X, Y, Z. Um, and yeah, there are definitely going to be obstacles here because I've got the long distance relationship card here and you are very different people, which means that everybody's got an opinion, haven't they always? Um, but there is a there is a potential here. I do want to say there is a potential. It does feel like this person is interested. It does feel like the universe is about to help you out here as well. Love angels, look at that. Yeah. Um, if they're not already feeling that way about you, they will be very soon. Um, either this person or someone very, very similar, because this is a very beautiful energy here. Very beautiful, very exciting. Very excited for you, actually, and for, for you and your crush. So be very interested to, to hear how that goes for you. So please do remember to leave me a like, comment on the video, do subscribe to the channel because it helps me so, so much. And I will see you all in the next video. If you feel drawn to watch a second one as well, because there are six to choose from and you can watch one or two, if you feel drawn to two, do dip back in for the time timestamps. So hello pile free. You've chosen the pile of cards with the celestite crystal here. I'll just pop her over here with the others and we'll take a look at your cards to see how your crush is feeling about you if there's any romantic potential there so we're starting out with our dragon card the earth chalice oh interesting time to get grounded perhaps all right let's take a look at some of these cards we have trust hmm. and separation this is interesting. This energy is feeling a little bit like pile two, so you might want to have a look at that one as well, if you feel drawn to watch that one too. Earth chalice, okay. So I want to start with the element of earth, which is very feminine, very protective, but it feels also like there is a need for you to be grounded in this situation. I do want to say ground yourself, stay calm, okay, um, and look after your physical body as well. Look after all the attaches you to the earth, all of your earthly um, being, I want to say, all of your earthly possessions. Maybe you've been spending too much time up in the astral <laughs> or, um, or in your psychic abilities trying to tune into this person, trying to see what's going on. Um, and I want to say, could you come back down to earth, please? Can you eat? Can you drink some water? You know, can you be healthy? Can you take care of your body? Can you ground your energy, please? Very, very important. And I feel myself putting my feet flat on the floor as I do that, <laughs> um, which does help you to ground. Also go outside, go into nature, please, so that you can get a lot clearer on this whole situation with your crush trust um interesting to see the trust card so clearly your crush has come into your life for a reason um very often with the trust card it doesn't necessarily mean that it will be that person that you end up with but they are definitely there for a reason okay um there is a strong possibility that this is somebody you're meant to be with even if you can't be with them at this time because we have the separation card um which indicates to me that you're not able to be together at the moment even if you wanted to either because this person doesn't know you exist maybe you don't really know each other maybe you're just kind of colleagues or acquaintances at the moment or you know maybe they live in a very different place to you maybe you've only met them briefly once or twice or on holiday or something so it does feel like um you wouldn't be able to spend time with them immediately but I want to say trust your feelings on this one trust your intuition you know you have a crush on them for a reason their energy is intermingled with yours right now for a very good reason and that would either be because you're supposed to be with them and they will actually show up or because they are helping to raise your vibration so that somebody else can come in and that is important to remember. And of course, it will be different for everyone because this is a group reading. OK, so take what makes sense, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I do feel for some people, I feel like this is someone you've met on holiday or you met on a, a, on a trip or something. Um, because there, there is very much kind of um, that, that kind of energy to it. I'm, I'm going there very strongly in my mind. Let's see what else we've got here. So number three, solar plexus. Number one, love abounds. And 19, shine. OK. Oh, yeah, your, your self-confidence does need a little bit of a boost, but I think theirs might do as well. Um, right, love abounds. Now, this is a great sign. OK, <laughs> this this is the Ace of Cups, basically, in a traditional tarot deck. This is a very non-traditional deck, um, which is why we have chakra cards. But with number one, love abounds, 
yeah, there's a good potential here. I would say this this person may already have they may have already caught feelings for you. <laughs> they like you. OK, if, if you have already met, if you've already if they've already made your acquaintance, then, yeah, they do like you. Um, but there may be some confidence lacking in one of you. It could be them. It could be you could be both of you actually it does feel like maybe you're both a little bit lacking in in confidence when it comes to to saying how you feel or or showing how you feel but I think that will come with time um and I love this shine card because that's very much her solar plexus chakra literally on fire <laughs> blaring out to this like a um like a big uh, light showing it show showing its light to the world here, showing who you are. Yes, I'm here, look at me, <laughs> 19, uh, 19, 10, 1. So, um, but I feel like uh, if you were to get into a relationship with this person, it will really rock their world. It, it would like be just so, um, so much upheaval, I want to say, not in a bad way, but it would really rock their world. It would just make such a big difference to them or possibly to you. I feel to them, but for some of you, it'll be for you. Um, maybe you're, just not what they're expecting. <laughs> Maybe um, you're kind of full of life and full of energy and they're a really quiet person and that, you know, you, you would really sort of push them out of their comfort zone and take them to new higher heights. Um, but it does feel very much like there, there's a very beautiful loving energy here. So there is a very beautiful potential here. Um, it is very nice. And tr I want to say trust that this person's come into your life for a reason, for a good reason. And that's not to say, you know, we, we can't guarantee that you will get to be with this person. OK, because that's not how the universe works unfortunately we don't get to to control other people we don't get to manipulate other people but there is a very beautiful energy here so if it's not this person it will be someone else coming in on the heels of this energy okay sometimes someone steps in just to get you into that wonderful romantic loving energy to get you energetically ready for the next person that is going to step in so it could be that with this person or it could just be this person themselves so let's take a look at the spiritual energy between you here Number six, grounding. What a surprise. <laughs> OK, get your feet on the ground. <laughs> Literally, if you haven't got your feet flat on the ground, do it now, please. Um, drink a glass of water. You know, um, grounding is exceptionally important for you right now. You may be somebody who is very psychic, very empathic, who spends way too much time in other people's emotions, who spends way too much time worrying about everyone else, trying to use your own abilities to, to kind of get... Um, get ahead in life to, to see what's coming you know I'm sure you do it for the right reasons if you do that we all do but sometimes you literally have to come back to the 3d you have to come back to the physical body and you have to take care of it please okay and that in itself could be what's keeping you away from this person if you're interested it could be either you or it could be them spending too much time in the astral and not enough time actually being a human being because this is where we have our relationships in the physical body is where we have our relationships on earth in this realm we come to the 3d realm to have 3d relationships okay and when we zoom off into the the fifth dimension or the seventh dimension or the ninth dimension or the twelfth you know we're not here we're not present so how can we take our life forwards in this dimension if we're not present in it so i want to say focus on coming to the present focus on being present so that you can be present for this person to either notice you or to step up um, and to step into your life um, because something is meant to be happening around now it really feels like with the with this number one love abounds card there's love around you it's ready to go it's ready to start okay it just needs you to be a little bit grounded and ready to do it um ready to step into um that relationship where when it when it shows up don't say no remember to say yes when it shows up let's take a look at the romance oracle cards here for you let's see how this person's feeling because i feel like this person may actually reciprocate your feelings they may just not be able to show it at this point in time let's see sacred soulmate that's a nice sign <laughs> that's a very nice sign to see cat person dog person so maybe a little bit different that's okay feed your relationship all oh, those cards coming up again interesting okay um yeah so like I said, this person's in your life for a reason. And on number one is all about new beginnings. So sacred soulmate. Um, this person does feel like a soulmate connection. And if it's not them, it will be, it feels like it would be somebody very, very soon afterwards. Um, there's a sacred soulmate about to step into your life. And I feel it could well be this person. Or like I said, it could be someone in coming in on the, off the heels of this person, off the heels of this energy. 
Venus Aphrodite. Yeah, very romantic energy coming in. Venus Aphrodite card showing up again. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, very strong potential. I do feel like this person may actually like you. They may already see you as a soulmate or a potential soulmate. Um, there are definitely some differences between you, I think. And this is what I was saying about if they got into a relationship with you, and this might be why they're really having to have a think about it and having to maybe stay away from you right now. Maybe they're not quite ready to step forwards because they're thinking, oh my goodness, if I get together with that person, then all of a sudden we're going to do things and I'm going to be happy and I'm not sure if I'm ready for that, <laughs> you know. Um, so it's very, very interesting. Um, I do want to say stay grounded in the now for you. OK, stay grounded in the here and now. Try not to, to fly off into the astral or try and see what they're thinking or, you know, start imagining the wedding. <laughs> Don't start planning that just yet. Um, there's some very concrete real world stuff for you to do first I feel before this can move forwards but it does feel like there is a very real potential with this person if this is genuinely someone that you can meet <laughs> you know not not a figment of your imagination or not you know like a public figure <laughs> or something like that um but this energy this person is coming in to help you move forwards in your love life I want to say that much um, for certain this person is in your life to help you move forwards in your life life so that you can move on to this next relationship either with this person or with somebody even better so thank you for watching please do leave a like remember to subscribe to the channel please do share the channel with a friend and let everyone else know that we're here cosmic dragon tarot is here to serve that's why we're here if you feel drawn to watch a second reading as well from the six do please do so because you can watch one or two with these because they are quite short and they do actually interlock with each other to give you a more accurate message so thank you so much you take very good care of yourself remember to ground yourself and i'll see you very soon Hello pile four. So you've chosen the pile of cards with the lovely soft purple pure pur 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 I can't speak purpurite crystal. <laughs> pur excuse me purpurite. It's a very beautiful crystal. I really really love this one. Got this one from Jenny Powell. She's an amazing crystal healer. Okay so let's take a look at your cards. So you can maybe see why I was stuttering. We have the destiny dragon very interesting okay i like where this is going let's take a look at the rest of our cards we have codependency and we have playfulness okay this is a very interesting place to start pile four i have to say um wow destiny is at play here okay this this person your crush this person you're interested in they're in your life for a reason there's something very very important happening on your life's path right now connected to your destiny connected to um something you are supposed to be doing on your path right now and they are there for a very very important reason now looking at the other cards so codependency obviously that's not such a, a happy card to say to, to see of course um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to enter into a codependent relationship with this person if anything it could be about you healing from past codependency and it may be that you're stuck in a relationship that you're not completely satisfied with at the moment that you would like to leave and you're working on that maybe you're, you're working on healing yourself working on getting stronger um, stepping away from a situation that isn't quite right anymore so it could be that you're actually not available at the moment it could be them that's not available because this is a group reading so it will be a little bit different for everybody so remember to take what makes sense for you and leave what doesn't um but there's this lovely playful energy that comes in here with this person so either this person inspires a very playful energy with you or, or you do in them and I really like this. It almost like it, it reminds you about romance. It reminds you that you can have fun and romance in your life because it feels like that may have been lacking for for some of you for some time, maybe for you, maybe for your crush. Um, and that playfulness is really needed because without it, relationships can can really stagnate. Um, they can really go in the wrong direction and we can just end up staying with people just kind of out of habit or because we don't know how to leave or because perhaps we have... Um, 
abuse or trauma in our past you know perhaps we don't know how to not be with somebody or perhaps we don't know how to leave a relationship or we get into the wrong relationship so there may be that there's something to heal in your life right now so I just want to very gently point that out have a look see if there's anything that needs to be healed in your life do you need to work with a therapist right now do you need some healing right now do you need to show yourself some real love and care okay this isn't about pointing fingers this is about healing this is about because I really really care um I've had to do a lot of my own healing and I'm still doing it. You know, it, it's a, a path that we never, never finish in this lifetime. We're, we're forever trying to heal. Um, but we can improve our lives so much But because it feels like this person, your crush, they're showing you the next step on your path, on your soul's path. And you may actually feel just how important this connection is. You may already be feeling the importance of this person, of this connection, um, and the potential there, you, you may sense that they're here to lift you up to the next level, to take you um, to another level in your life, that, that with them you could really have the relationship that you want. Um, and they may already be feeling that as well, if they are aware of you, if they know you. Um, so I want to say, if you already know them, keep it playful, keep it fun, show yourself to be the kind, loving person that you are, because there's there is no accident that this person is on your path right now. It does feel like this could be destiny stepping in here. Um, and I will add the caveat that when we're manifesting relationship, I always say it could be this person or somebody better. OK, sometimes the universe brings somebody in onto our path to get us into a very beautiful, romantic, loving energy so that we're ready to receive the next person who's actually about to come in. It may not be the one in front of you. They must might just be prepping your energy <laughs> to get you ready for the one you are going to be with. So just be aware of that. That wise old universe does work in very mysterious ways, <laughs> but it is happening for a reason. This person has caught your eye, caught your attention for a very, very good reason. So let's bring in some more cards. We have number seven, move. Number one, strengthening bonds. And number three, share the love. Oh, that's beautiful. This is really nice. I have to say, this is a really nice potential I'm looking at pile four. Um, it feels like their energy is really moving you, <laughs> but it, it comes in with a mystical feel as well. There, there's a mystical energy here, almost like your combined energies would kind of give you the kick up the backside that you've needed to to level up, <laughs> to become um, a better version of yourself or perhaps all that you can be. It does feel like this person would literally be helping you to level up and, and perhaps you them. This is a very interesting combined energy and it feels like together you could achieve more than you could individually. OK, and again, I'm going to add the caveat that it's either this person or the next person that they're preparing you for. But this energy is very exciting. Um, and certainly for some of you, this person's going to help you level up um, working together. I think you'll be able to achieve more things than you ever could alone, ever could on your own, because you'll both complement each other really nicely. I feel like you both bring a lot to the plate. You both bring a lot to the table um, and you both help to... Um, to make up for the other person's lack you know you have the things that they don't have maybe they're very practical and you're a dreamer and they need to be um more imaginative and and have more fun and maybe you need to be a little bit more grounded so it feels like you really complement each other beautifully here so i see why you have a crush on them i totally get it their, their energy is very attractive to you or very attractive it feels like you kind of fit together like little pu puzzle pieces very nice um share the love this Oh, wow. This energy would be very, very cooperative. There's a real potential here, especially on this creative number three. Uh, whew, you two could go a long way together. And I think you sense it. I think you both sense it, actually, if, if, if this other person's aware of you, if they know you. I think they sense it. Or if they don't know you, they may be sensing it on... Um, on a more subtle level at the moment, if this is somebody who's about to cross your path, who's about to come into your life. Um, there is a really strong potential on this number one here. Um, it's just a case of getting to know each other a little bit better, strengthening those bonds so that you can step away perhaps from a previous relationship. Maybe you need to step away from a relationship. Maybe they need to step away from a relationship that's no good for them so that you can actually sort yourselves out and be together properly. Um, let's take a look at the spiritual energy here. So we've got number three channeling. Oh, wow. Now, this is interesting because, again, we've got another number three here. So this is creative energy. Um, feels like you can create a lot together, that you can birth a lot together, bring a lot into being. Um, and it feels as well as though um, like there's a, a very powerful psychic energy between the two of you. 
So it feels like this is somebody you may actually do psychic work with together. You know, you may both have a strong clairvoyant ability. You may both both have a strong mediumistic ability, regardless of whether either of you is actually using it at the moment. There's a powerful psychic connection here. Um, and again, you may be feeling that. And again, you may both be very empathic, which is why you might end up in codependent relationships. It feels like you may both be very sensitive, very empathic, um, very kind people, very loving. Let's just bring in the Romance Oracle cards here. Let's have a look to see how this person's feeling about you at the moment. Pick me. <laughs> ex-partner. Ah, interesting. Okay. Ooh. Children and family. Right. Okay. So this, do you want to come in as well? You do. Okay. And top. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. So I'm just having a chat with my cards, which ones wanted to come out. My guides always tell me. All right then. So pick me, pick me. <laughs> pick me. That's nice. Um, yeah, th this this person may actually be interested in you already, <laughs> particularly if there's someone you actually know, <laughs> you already have a connection with. It feels like this person may already be interested, may already want you to make the first move. So bear that in mind. They may want you to reach out to them. They may need you to reach out to them if they don't already know you. It may be that you have to start that um that, that energy moving you are the one that has to open the channel of communication because I'm just noticing the word channel there you may need to be the one that opens the channel of communication and I, I feel they may respond very well to you but it does feel like they have or you have an ex-partner or current partner who will be soon ex it feels like energetically it's over but you haven't quite managed to finish it properly yet. It feels like there may be somebody in the way at the moment that, that's just um, perhaps preventing you from from moving forwards with this at the moment and there may be children involved or it may be that there are family issues involved there and they don't feel quite ready to actually move forwards with this at this time um, but there is a really beautiful potential here with sweets chocolates and roses that's real romance that's lovely um it can look a little bit superficial sometimes on the face of it but I don't feel this is a superficial connection I feel like they just want it's a little bit corny actually some of it um you know that if, if you do start dating, they might be a little bit corny, almost like maybe if they've been married for a long time, they might not know how to do it. <laughs> you know, they might not be sure how how dating is supposed to be. So they, they might go, oh, well, I'll buy you some chocolates and flowers and take you to the cinema, <laughs> you know, um, which is kind of cute. Um, it, it is really sweet energy, very cute, uh, very, very sweet and loving kind of innocent there so this person may not have very much experience of dating because it may be that they've been with someone for a long time um, that they've now either left or are about to leave um, and it may be a long distance relationship as well so be aware that this may be somebody um, who can't be with you straight away long distance doesn't necessarily mean a long way away it might just be that they're still trying to sort things out with a divorce or their children or family so they can't actually be with you straight away so there may be a, a distance even if it's not um, like like a long distance necessarily although it might be it might be a long distance thing it might be somebody that you know online um, but I do want to say reach out to them because there is a beautiful potential here and like I always say if it's not this person it will be somebody coming in soon after them because it does feel like the universe is really moving around some pieces on the chessboard here um, trying to move you into your next major relationship so one way or another, it does feel like there's something very important, very fated about this crush, about this connection that you have with this person. So I want to say reach out. I want to say speak to them, uh, send them a message. You know, you don't have to be creepy about it or weird about it. Just send them a nice, friendly message. Um, let's ask, actually, what, what sort of message should we send? What should we say to them? Um, just to get the ball rolling. How do we approach this person? Bottom card, yes, please. What does love mean to you? Ask them a question. Um, when I wrote this card... Um, I want to say that the word love can be replaced with anything. You know, what does love mean to you? What does compassion mean to you? What does spirituality mean to you? It's actually quite a philosophical card, this one. So maybe reach out and ask them a question. Maybe ask them a philosophical question. Ask them something about what they do. Um, just start it as as a conversation, I want to say. Don't reach out and say, oh, I have a massive, massive crush on you. Will you go out with me? <laughs> I don't think that's necessarily the best way to approach this person. Ask them a question. Ask them for help. Ask them for guidance. Perhaps this, if this is somebody that you look up to, it might be for some people, someone that you really look up to or who maybe you work with or who's superior to you, you know, in some capacity. Ask them a question. Um, dig into their mind. 
get them to think because I feel like they'll really enjoy that it does feel like this is the kind of connection where it could be a connection of minds as well a bit of philosophy coming in here I want to, to talk about philosophy here so um yeah very interesting potential here I want to say reach out if they don't already know you make the first move but do it in a very gentle playful way and be aware that maybe a little time to get this one going but um this is a very important person on your path regardless of how things end up so thank you so much for watching the video do feel free to watch a second video from the six as well if you feel drawn to any of the other ones because they will dovetail together for you um, please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already it helps me so so much and i will have so many more readings to help you i'm here to serve remember if there's a reading that you would like me to do that i haven't done please put a message in the comments below for me and i will see you very soon Take very good care of yourself. Hello, pile five. You've chosen the pile of cards with the selenite crystal, the lovely moonstone here. Not moonstone, it's a moonstone, not the moonstone. Right, pop her over there. <laughs> okay, and let's take a look at your crush and romantic potential there and how they're feeling about you. So we have the hope dragon. Okay, then we have new love. We have retreat. Interesting. Okay, we'll bring those cards in in a second. Ooh, this is lovely. It does feel like a new hope. Okay, um, it does feel like a new hope for you at the moment. Maybe that um, you're somebody that hasn't been in a relationship for a while. That's what I'm feeling here for some of you. Obviously, this is a group reading, so take what makes sense and leave what doesn't. Um, but it does almost feel like this person's kind of awakened feelings in you that you haven't had for a long time, maybe because you've been single for a long time or it just hasn't been on your mind to have a relationship. Maybe you just kind of thought, oh, well, yeah, I haven't got time for that. Or maybe it just hasn't hasn't come around for you you know maybe it's been a long time and you thought well maybe I'll, I'll just stay single and it'll be fine um but it does feel like this this person your your crush has sort of come in to rock your world a little bit <laughs> and to remind you that romance is an important part of your life that love is an important part of your life as well um and it does feel like this is waking up a part of you that may have been dormant for some time that may have disappeared um it does feel that like there may have been love in your past, but perhaps that got away. Perhaps you were stuck in an unsatisfying relationship. Perhaps you had a difficult divorce and you thought, you know what, I'm not going to do that anymore. Not interested. It was too hard, too painful the last time. But this new person, this crush really wakes up something in you that, that's been dormant, that's been asleep, I want to say, for a while. And you may be actually daydreaming. <laughs> and with the re retreat card, I feel like you've been daydreaming, literally disconnecting from the world, perhaps on your own, just kind of going off into lovely daydreams, um, remembering things that you like to do, perhaps imagining what it would be like to be with them. So there's a very kind of floaty, Piscean, dreamy, Neptunian feel here. Um, what have you maybe? a Pisces, <laughs> Pisces, Sun, Moon or Ascendant. Um, very, very dreamy, kind of idealistic energy coming through here, but very hopeful as well, which is nice. You know, it feels like you deserve something. You deserve something nice. You deserve um, to have that lovely romantic relationship that you're dreaming about with this person. So that's really fun. That's really nice. So we're going to bring in some other cards here. So we've got nine, rest and reconsider. We've got zero trust and one manifest. Oh, I like this. Okay. So I just had to pause the video to actually yawn because this is making me feel a little bit sleepy, this energy. So it is very dreamy energy. Um, but I also feel like you might be exhausted at this point in time. So I'm going to say to you, it may be that you need to rest at the moment, that you need to take some time um, for yourself to get yourself into a, a more energised state to its way you're feeling better so that you can move forwards in a romantic relationship. It could be that you've been unwell for a while. Maybe you've been struggling with your health, with your mental health. Um, with your physical health, no matter what it is, um, or maybe you just had a lot on your plate to deal with recently and you kind of need a break before you can move forwards with, with any romantic connection. But this person may have come in a little bit sooner than you were expecting, um, maybe when you weren't expecting it at all, and it's kind of given you pause to stop. Um, 
And with this card nine, rest and reconsider, in some ways it's similar to the retreat card because it does feel like hermit energy, like you pulling away from the rest of the world to really think about what it is that you want now. And I would encourage you to actually think about that. What is it that you want moving forwards? Would you like a relationship with somebody like this or with this person? Because I do always add the caveat that um, when the universe brings somebody into our life, when we have a crush on someone, we feel a connection. It may be that the universe is actually trying to help us to manifest the relationship that we actually want, that we actually deserve. And we do have the manifest card here as well about manifesting, working with the law of attraction or um, magnetizing somebody into your life. Um, and very often somebody shows up first to actually energetically get you ready for the next person who is the right person. So I want you to be aware of that as well. It's not necessarily this person that you get to be with, but it will be somebody better. But it does feel, Pile 5, like you might have um, been thinking about this and, and, and maybe you do work with the law of attraction. Maybe that's something that you're into, which is great. I, you know, I do myself. It's very interesting. It's wonderful. Um, and I want to say when we are manifesting a relationship, Always add the caveat, either this person or somebody better, because we can't ever go against somebody's free will. If they don't want to be with us, that's that. We, we cannot subvert somebody's free will, nor should we try to. Um, but there's a very interesting feeling here. And with the trust card, it does feel like the universe is saying, just just wait, you'll see, just wait. <laughs> I'm very, very excited for you because there is new love on the horizon with either this person or the person they're getting you ready for. So this is very exciting. Let's bring in the spiritual aspect here. So we have number 12, whispers. So it does feel like your spirit guides, your angels are trying to communicate with you at the moment. It might be that this person is trying to communicate with you. Maybe you're crush and you actually have a telepathic connection. Maybe you have a psychic connection already. And one or both of you may be aware of that, I would say say um because it feels like a very ordered spiritual connection between you it feels very stable very gentle and it feels like this could be a really nice um nice relationship if you were to move forward it's a very nice connection um let's just have a look to see how this person's feeling about you um see what the potential is here because this looks very nice self-care comes first well there we go okay so just reiterating what i was saying Self-care comes first. <laughs> you must look after yourself first and foremost. OK, so if you're still recovering from something, whether it was a difficult relationship, whether it was an illness, an injury, just a difficult time, maybe a bereavement, something that you're going through and you've really had to take some time out uh, from life, take some time out from dating, perhaps take some time out from relationships. You make sure that you're taking care of yourself. And that is the most important thing before they will even discuss how this person feels about you. That's how much your angels and your guides care about you. So let's see how this person feels. Sweets, chocolates and roses. That's fun. Candy girl. Interesting. A bit less fun. Okay. I'm not into it. Okay. So I don't want you to panic when you see this card because I actually feel like it might be you that's not quite ready to get into it just yet. So don't panic. So um, very romantic feel here. I do want to say self-care comes first so you really must be prioritizing yourself and your well-being at the moment. With candy girl there may be a little bit of a um, unbalanced energy with your crush they may be not quite right for you it may be that there's somebody um, who isn't in quite the right place emotionally maybe they're not very emotionally stable maybe they they've got some other stuff some other issues going on that are getting in the way at the moment so I would say have a little bit of caution with this person that you're interested in um, I believe there's a potential here but I feel like um, you may want more than that OK, I feel like this person sort of showed up um, th this crush to sort of get your juices going, so to speak. <laughs> Sounded OK, that came out wrong. <laughs> came out wrong um, to kind of wake you up to, to romance again and to dating again, just, just to um, get you into that right place, that right state of mind, right state of emotion so that you can manifest the relationship that you want, that you need. There is a potential here. I don't think it's a long term potential because I don't think they would actually be up to your standards. I don't think that um, you would really be into it. OK, if, if, even if they were. Um, it does feel like a person coming in, this this crush coming in actually to take you on to the next person. Now, that's not going to be the case for everybody. For some people, this is actually going to be a relationship you can move forwards with. There is definitely a potential there. Um, there absolutely is a potential. We've got celebration anniversary. So this could become 
um, a relationship that, that does stand the test of time. But be aware that you may not be into it at first. It may not be the right time for you. It may be just, oh, yeah, I have this crush on this person, but I do not have the energy to go be dating right now. This is not the time for this. You know, I'm still dealing with X, Y, Z. OK, um, there is a potential here, which is interesting. If this person is in the right place, that's great. I feel they will wait for you as well. If it's you that's not quite in the right place at the moment, if you do want to proceed with this relationship, I feel they will be patient. They will wait for you. Um, this or that. Uh, but it does feel like there will be a choice. There could be a second person actually coming in or there may be a second person you already have your eye on at the moment. So I do think there will be some choices for you there. Um, and with the manifest card, it feels like you're going to be bringing more relationship potential into your life anyway. It feels like you're going to be manifesting it, whether you're doing it intentionally or not. It feels like it's coming in. So I do want to say I don't think this is your only option this person. Um, don't rush into it if you're not ready. Take your time. I feel there would be a better option coming up for you, though. I think this is a potential for many people. Um, but be careful that it is the right person and that you are feeling up to moving forwards with this at this time. Um, otherwise, it could just be a bit exhausting for you. Candy girl energy can be really exhausting, um, really not grounded. Um, <laughs> it's OK for a fling, but, you know, if you're just just getting back on your feet, a fling may not be what you want. It may just be a bit more more trouble than it's worth um let's see learn to rest not to quit yeah it's okay to play and explore you don't have to know everything well that makes perfect sense okay so yeah take it one step at a time day by day okay there's no rush here i want to say with relationships there's absolutely no rush um i love how this came out on the rest and reconsider card so it's really kind of hammering home you got some resting to do there thank you very much <laughs> please bear attention um and you know what? It's OK. You don't have to know in advance if things are going to work out with this person or even if you want to be with them. It's OK to play. It's OK to explore. All right. It's OK to to just date casually. You don't have to, to jump into something with both feet at this time. It feels like this person is kind of showing up to help you along the way in your relationships. You know, they're, they're here to help you take the next step, whether it's energetically or whether it's actually dating. For some people, it will turn into something more serious. Um, but I do feel this person isn't going to be your only option. OK, so thank you very much for watching. If you feel drawn to watch a second one from the six, please do so because they do dovetail together quite nicely. Please do remember to give me a like on this video. Recommend this video to a friend if you know somebody who needs any messages right now or any of my other videos. If there's a video that I haven't made that you would like me to make, please do leave me a message in the comments and you take very good care of yourself. Remember to rest <laughs> and I will see you in the next video. Hello, pile six. You've chosen the cards with the turquoise crystal. We shall pop her over here and let's take a look at your cards. Let's have a look at your crush, the romantic potential and how they feel about you. So our dragon card, we actually have fear from the dragon oracle. OK. All right. And then we have flirt. And give your relationship a chance. Oh, OK. All right, so let's take a look at your crush. We'll bring those other cards in in a second. All right, so hmm, that's not the easiest energy, actually. So there may be a real fear here about approaching this person that you're interested in. Maybe you're, you're afraid to actually flirt with this person or maybe... Um, Maybe they're a little bit disconnected. Um, it could be that they are actually not keen on getting into a relationship at the moment. Because it feels like one of you is very, very anxious, very nervous about getting into a relationship at this time. Um, which is a shame. And it doesn't have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be too heavy or serious at the moment. And I just want to say, have some fun with the energy. Keep it light. Uh, don't terrify yourself. Don't push yourself too far out of your comfort zone with this person. But... Do keep it flirty and fun, OK, because otherwise I think it could get too deep. And there could be a connection with whales here as well, because that's kind of where I'm going with this dragon, the mountains in the background. Um, but yeah, it could be a connection with whales or, or, or what if you could have um, Welsh ancestry. Um, it's, it's an interesting one here, but it feels like there's a lack of... Um, 
I'm getting the word communication, there is a lack of communication, um, but it's because there is a lack of confidence here as well. It feels like one or both of you are really lacking confidence in this situation. Um, but the universe is saying, no, give it a chance, you know, don't don't just step away because you're afraid. Give it a chance. Have some fun here. Flirt. If flirting is fun. OK, I'm a Libra. I do it a lot. All right. We can't help it. It's just it's like breathing for us. <laughs> we flirt. It's what we do. Um, I'm going to bring in some other cards here. We have four joy and stability. We have two listen and we have four lead. Oh, OK, so you don't like things to be unstable. You do like a bit of stability with those fours kind of anchoring the two sides there. I see it. I see it. Um, and I feel like you're somebody that likes things to be very clear up front. So you know where you're going. Maybe you like to know the outcome before you start something. Um, and yes, that could definitely cause some reticence and that could be you or it could be the other person that's reticent to get into something if they don't already know the outcome. Um, and that's understandable. You like things to be stable and secure. You might be an earth sign or they might be an earth sign, you know, in your um, in your big three, in your, your sun, moon and um, ascendant. You might have some a lot of earth in there. Um, but it does feel like this is a very, very nice connection. Um, and I do want to say give it a go. OK, I feel like there is a nice connection here and pay attention to what the other person is saying as well. Interesting, we've got the listen card here, which is about communication because we had the turquoise crystal. Now, this one actually heals and balances the throat chakra, which is all about communication. So I feel like this potential relationship with your crush, it's all about communication. All right. You need to talk to each other. You need to communicate. Um especially if the other person doesn't know you or, you know, doesn't know that you're interested, you need to tell them. It does feel like you really need to tell them here. You need to put fear to one side because um, it does feel like your fears are unfounded. You know, whether this moves forwards or not, it's not going to be terrible. OK, whether they say yes or no, I think you'll be fine. You'll be OK. It's all right. It won't be the end of the world. Um, oh, that's sweet. That's a very sweet energy here. OK. Ah, oh, there may be an ex-partner getting in the way here. All right. OK, so we just want to know how this person is feeling about you. All right. The fairy princess story. OK, this person might be quite idealistic or it might be you that's quite idealistic. Um, again, it's the, the sort of the, the fairy story energy. It's like they want the happy ever after kind of thing or maybe you want the happy ever after. Um, and that's not always realistic because... Um, Sometimes somebody comes into the, your life and they're Mr. Right Now or Miss Right Now. OK, they're not necessarily Mr. Right or Miss Right. They're Mr. Right Now or Miss Right Now. And that's OK. And I want to say to you, when you get into a relationship with somebody, it doesn't have to last forever. And you may not want it to. You know, a lot of people come in for a season. Everyone comes in for a reason and some people come in for a season and some people leave again afterwards and that's OK. Um, but it does feel like you really need to take care of yourself. Your well-being needs a little bit of attention right now. OK, um, and there could be an ex-partner getting in the way here as well with this person or with you. But there is a potential here with sweets, chocolates and roses. Go out and flirt, you know, go out and, and make it romantic. Go out and make it interesting. That's a good potential there. Um, you know, it may start slow. It may just literally be flirting for a while literally just be chatting to each other online or something um you know not necessarily even doing anything about it but but be very gentle with yourself because it feels like one of you has been hurt quite badly in the past um and the candy girl card that's her third time out actually today that can represent quite an unstable energy that needs balancing all right it does feel like this is um, like romance is something that either you or them kind of struggle with. All right. And th that's why this fear started out at the beginning. That, that fear comes from the root chakra. That's a red dragon. OK, that's the root chakra energy here. Um, and it feels like maybe um, maybe growing up you didn't feel safe or you didn't have a, a, a grounded, safe uh, home life. Or perhaps it, it's some trauma from your past or a difficult relationship or even something karmic that you brought through with you that just makes you feel unsafe and makes you want everything to be very safe, very stable, very solid. Um, you know, every very predictable um, so that you can feel OK. And there may be some health um some health oh okay let's put the word health in my mouth there may be some health um concerns to take care of as well here um so i want to say there's no need to rush in here there is a potential but there's no need to rush in i want to say go gentle with it um ease in gently 
Okay, take it one step at a time because there is a nice potential here. All right, this person does feel like they like you. Um, what's going on with them at the moment, please? Why, why would they need it to be? Are you aiming too low? Remember who you are. Ah, okay. It feels like their confidence has been knocked a little bit. Um, and it might be that they don't feel up to actually asking you out or, or trying to initiate something at the moment. Because um, it feels like their confidence has been knocked. So they may literally be aiming too low in their life. They may be dating someone who's not very nice. <laughs> or they may have an ex-partner who's made them feel like they're really worthless. And boy, can that happen sometimes. Um, so it feels like they may have some healing to do. And it feels like it feels like this person may actually be fresh out of a relationship. They may not be long out of a relationship that either was long, um, long term or had a big impact on them. It feels like it was a big relationship one way or another. And it feels like they kind of lost who they were in all of that. They may have forgotten who they were or maybe they've been through a traumatic experience or had a difficult upbringing and they just can't, can't see who they really are. But you can see how wonderful they are, but they can't see it. OK, so it feels like there's it's going to take some time, either because you need it to or because they need it to or because both of you need it to. But I want to say put yourself out there, flirt with this person, give it a chance, because it does feel like there is a, a really nice potential here. If you're prepared to take it slowly, both work on yourselves, um, you know, take it one day at a time, one step at a time, because it's a very, very sweet connection here. It is a nice potential. Um, and let's just bring in the spiritual aspect here as well. A 42.6 inward revolution. Oh, wow. OK, so you both have a huge potential to bring change into each other's lives on a spiritual level. And I think this is why you have this connection at the moment, you know, regardless of whether you actually know each other or not. You know, this may be someone you're admiring from a distance. It may not be someone you know at all. Um, but on a soul level, it feels like um, you are aware of this person or maybe this person's aware of you um, to actually help them to ascend, to help them to be a better person, to help them to grow on a spiritual level. So there is an important spiritual connection here. I feel that this is an important one. You haven't come together by chance. This is happening for a reason right now. And it's happening to both take both of you forwards on a spiritual level, um, perhaps so that you can trust God or goddess. Um, so that you can trust the divine again, because it does feel like there is a mistrust of the divine, the mistrust of God, whatever you choose to call God, it doesn't matter. Um, why I normally say God, goddess. Um, and I think you will be able to help each other to learn that the universe is a safe place, that you really can have what you want. You can be safe, you can be happy and not everyone's going to step in just to take advantage of you or to be unkind or to be cruel here. Um and I think you can both help each other to heal. Yes, self-care does come first, but I feel in that you have the opportunity to help one, other, one another to heal, to heal from some wounds. So this doesn't necessarily have to be a long-term relationship for that to happen, I hasten to add. Uh, for some people, I think it will be. Um, perhaps not for everyone. It may just be the flirting that helps you to heal so that you can move forwards. Um, but the communication itself is kind of the point here. The communication, the flirting, the, the the talking, the getting to know each other, the spending time together. And, you know, even if it's just as friends to start with, I think that's going to be very transformational for both of you. Very powerful for both of you. Um, there is a romantic potential here as long as you are both working on yourselves or at least whoever needs to work on themselves is doing so um, especially if it is healing from past hurt that's absolutely crucial if this is to have any kind of long-term potential so thank you very much for watching the video please do watch a second video from the six if you feel drawn to a second one because they do work together these are quite short so you can actually pick two from the six please do remember to leave me a thumbs up if you may like subscribe to the channel if there's something you would like me to make a video about that i haven't done please put that in the comments below and i will see you in the next video take very good care of yourself